Thank you. Plan. <coughs> Japan should terminate the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty and end Host Nation support to the United States. Advantage one is the economy. A Japanese economic collapse is on the brink now. That crashes the world's economy. Malden writes in 13, Jap uh, the Japanese is on the brink of an economic disaster. Japan is a global power. Even with the rest of Asia's big companies combined with China's, the total barely surpasses Japan. Japan delivers a serious impact on the rest of the world because global growth is now driven by Asia. Japan has painted itself into the corner. There will be no clean or easy exit. There is going to be massive economic pain, and the pain will not be confined to Japan. And economic downturn causes nuclear war, Lewis in 98. Instead of allowing countries to withdraw from the global economy and undermining the developed world, the US and Japan and others will fight neo-colonial wars to force these countries to remain with the collapsing global economy. These neo-colonial wars will result in mass death, suffering, and nuclear wars. We may see mass death and genocide on a global scale that will make World War II pale in comparison. These worlds, uh, wars will squander material, biological, and energy resources that will undermine the global economy and its ability to support the Earth's 8 billion people. This will be the worst case scenario for the collapse of global civilization. And ending the security treaty leads to Japanese economic sovereignty. Kazuo writes in 12. Japan's subservience to the U.S. has seriously distorted the Japanese economy. The success of import liberalization has reduced Japan's food self-sufficiency rate to less than 40%. Even rice is being targeted. Nuclear power plants exist because the U.S. enticed the Japanese government to import enriched uranium. The U.S. has forced Japan to adopt deregulation so that an enormous amount of wealth can be siphoned off from the Japanese people. The deregulation of the labor market imposed by the U.S. has led to a severe deterioration in working conditions. Japan's entry into the TPP will destroy Japan's economic sovereignty. This situation has its origin in the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty that states the parties will seek to eliminate conflict in the international economic policies. Under this provision, the American standard has been imposed on Japan in an outrageous manner. If Japan gets rid of the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty, it will be able to overcome its economic subservience to the United States. Japan will be able to fully or to finally follow an independent path of economic development. And terminating the treaty will lead to new industries and employment. Kazuo again writes in 12, after the U.S. bases in Japan are removed, we would use taxpayers' money and land that are now used by the U.S. forces for the well-being of the general public, which amounts to 700 billion yen annually. The land worth 14 trillion yen will be returned. This will help create new industries and employment. The removal of all U.S. bases would increase the amount of local production by 2.2 times, the amount of income by 2.1 times, and the number of jobs 2.7 times. Advantage two is Okinawa. The United States Human Rights Council cites Okinawa as an area of discrimination against indigenous populations by U.S. service people. UNHRC 12. In Japan, 87% of the U.S. military bases are built on state land. One of the serious issues caused by this concentration is the crimes and accident of the U.S. military. In total, 1,545 cases of accidents caused by the U.S. military or its personnel were reported to the Okinawa Prefecture. These were in total of 5,705 arrests of U.S. military personnel for atrocities, violence, theft, and public moral offenses. This number is the second highest among all the U.S. Marine Corps facilities. And Okinawa resents the U.S. military presence. They cite crime and pollution as chief reasons. Hallinan writes in 14, the U.S. presence damages the environment and sparks more crime involving the U.S. military. You have got an overwhelming majority of people who have had it for 70 years of being occupied, militarism, crime, pollution, and noise that goes along with the bases. The main grievance that Okinawans have are sexual violence, crime, and noise. I don't think that the people of Okinawa are going to back down. They have been protesting 24-7 for hundreds if not thousands of days. And conflict over bases in Okinawa also increases tensions between China, Japan, and the U.S. The plan solves this tension by removing the bases. Hallinan again writes, Local residents feel like they have the bulk of the American bases in Okinawa. There's a lot of pollution, the military is sloppy. The fact is that Okinawans don't want this base here. That raises serious political questions about the whole idea of the Asia pivot. It also increases, increases tensions, particularly with China. 
Okinawa is one of the poorest provinces in Japan. And Okinawans feel that they have been discriminated against. They are sick and tired of it. Open for cross sex. Okay, can I ask yes. some question uh, about advantage too? You, uh, you, uh, okay. I'd like to confirm your, uh, you argue the discrimination of the Okinawa people. So, what kind of uh, discrimination exists in Okinawa? In Okinawa? I think there are several forms of discrimination, um, if you can allow me to talk about all of them. The first one is against the women that live in Okinawa, who are unfairly subject to rape and sexual violence by the people on base. Second is because Okinawa happens to be one of the poorest prefectures. They depend on the base for their economic stability, which also is what our Advantage 1 is talking about. The United States is taking advantage of poorer areas of Japan because they are so economically crippled they can no longer stand on their own. Mm, okay, I understand. So now, lastly, you said uh, uh, tension between China and the a Asia country is increasing because of the distrity, mm -hmm. because of the base. So now, I'm simply, I want to know what, what is the reason? What is the reason? Yeah. Our Hellenian article indicates that it raises questions about the entire United States strategy in Asia. China looks at Okinawa and wonders, why is the Asia pivot happening? What is the United States who says that they want to be a trading partner? Why do they feel the need to increase their military presence in East Asia? They don't like that they're there, the Okinawans don't like that we're there, and it's creating this political turmoil that will in fact end in conflict eventually. Okay, I understand. Uh, then, can I exchange the question on mm -hmm. advantage one? Uh, then, as for advantage one, you argue the economic problem of Japan. Then, how much does it cost to keep this GUSD? Well, that's almost an impossible question because we don't know what we could be doing with the land otherwise. Our evidence indicates that the land itself is worth 12 trillion yen, and we're paying over 800 billion yen every year in host nation support. All of this money could be used and reinvested into the economy in the form of jobs, new industries, and additionally, the entire way that the economy is structured in regards to labor laws and such are only because of the security treaty. Okay, thank you.